Hey guys, Furious Tick here, bringing you the first episode in the series of my zombie weapon guides. Um, today I'm going to be covering the MPL. It's one of my favourite guns on soft. No, it's not. <laughs> I don't really like this gun that much. It's, it's, um, I'm going to cover all the elements of the MPL. And um, yeah, so let's begin. <laughs> the cost of this gun is 1,000 points once you can manage to open up the door under the stairs in the first room. Um, it's actually a pretty effective gun for the early rounds, as you can see right here, but you want to try and, you know, aim, be aiming for headshots from the singular zombies. Um, because, you know, it's not very useful otherwise. It's it's pretty much the equivalent of the PM63 on the other side of the map. <laughs> um, but I actually think it's a bit better due to the bigger clip size and the more ammo you can get, pretty much. Okay, so what is it here? Oh yeah, and, um, you know, you want to be like using it really well to your best of your ability on the early rounds where it's you know crucial for getting points um, and this gun is a good good point gun <laughs> or you could go over another SMG you know, this is a but this is pretty effective for, get, for racking up points I wouldn't recommend holding on to it for more than round 10 um, as you can see here it costs 500 points to buy ammo <laughs> um, and yeah you will have to find yourself buying ammo quite often with this gun because which to say it runs out of ammo very quickly and unless you get a max ammo obviously where it's going to be where the ammo is going to be free <laughs> which is always quite nice but um i think once you've got no ammo and you buy ammo you get 96 spare bullets and 24 bullets in a mag um and here's the best way to, to be uh, using the mpl really just to be grouping up the zombies together you can do this on the early rounds uh, round six i'm on right now but you see you'll be able to really get quite a lot of zombies on on this round you'll be able to get the full 24 in the map at a time and then you can just make a big rape train out of them and uh, and just shoot into them like that you know i pr pretty much recommend aiming for the head because you can get 100 points for doing that and um that's that's the best way to do it but you know you don't have to use the mpl you can or if you decide to go the other route the other way <laughs> i was gonna say route but if you decide to go the other way then you know you can you can choose the pm63 as the equivalent of this um, but just to say one thing, I don't normally go this way, I just wanted to cover the MPL first for some reason. <laughs> I actually don't know why I wanted to do that first, but yeah, I just wanted to cover the MPL first, um, for for some kind of reason. <laughs> okay, um, as you can see here, I'm going up to the Pack-a-Punch, and it costs 5,000 points, obviously, for all guns it's going to cost 5,000 points. Um, okay, so when this gun is Pack-a-Punched, it becomes the MPL LF. <laughs> so it's a pretty simple name, but you know, not, not that amazing, and this gun... Pack a punt is pretty pointless investment, I have to say. Um, for all those points, you could be you could have spent it on getting a, a ray gun from the box or a thunder gun or something better. Um, and you know, all that happens when you pack a punch is you get a red dot sight, you get a bigger mag, and you get more power. So it's definitely better than the normal MP um, MPL, and it's definitely better than the PM63, which is why I do prefer this weapon to the PM63. Um, however, you just, you don't really want to be pack punching this gun because. Um, you just find yourself running out of ammo too much and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> um, but when you, when you do pack a punch it and you're out of ammo and you buy ammo, ammo will cost. No, no, not. not. <laughs> um, when you buy ammo, you're going to get 200 spare bullets and the extra 40 in the mag. So you know you're not going to get that many, but but whatever. Um, as you can see, pack a punch ammo right here costing five four thousand five hundred points for. A, um, there's not that much ammo really, where I could be getting much more out of different guns, say the MP40. Oh, I don't, I'm not really sure, but um, you know, the rate of fire on this gun sort of ruins the amount of ammo you can get because it runs out of ammo really quickly. Um, it's pretty much the same as the normal MPL, the pack one one is pretty much pointless despite its benefits. Um, and this is just a bigger mag and the red dot sight, which can be quite useful for aiming per the perfect headshot. Alright, so the next thing I want to be covering is perks. And um, for this gun, I'd probably recommend double tap just to complement the extreme rate of fire of this gun. Um, but if you're going to buy double tap, then I wouldn't recommend pack punching it. I mean, you know, from my experience, this this gun has a really high rate of fire when you buy double tap, and uh, it's not really worth it. You know, having double tap and a pack punch MPL. What I'd do if you really want to make this gun more powerful, just buy double tap and don't waste the five thousand points on pack punching it. Because double tap is surprisingly good, and quite a lot of people don't know what double tap is. It just basically makes your rate of fire twice as fast, pretty much. Um, but just be warned with the MPL, <laughs> as right here, you're gonna have to, you're gonna find yourself in this kind of situation all too often, you know. As you can see, <laughs> that big red no ammo <laughs> written right across the screen can be quite annoying. Um, but you find yourself in that situation quite a lot. <laughs> um, 
which is really annoying seeing as ammo is going to cost a lot when you've got the pack a punch version so just I wouldn't recommend pack punching this gun and if you want to make it more powerful buy double tap <laughs> that's this that's my recommendations but anyway thanks for watching guys and peace out see you in the next episode